Welcome to the highlights. It's day one of the third test match from the Brit Oval. The series 1-0 to India. Great opportunity for India to go ahead and win it. An even bigger opportunity for England because they haven't lost a series for six years. So an opportunity to bounce back. Lovely batting surface at the Oval. India won a toss. Second time in test matches in the series that they won a very good toss. And uh, out they came out against England's new ball attack. This is what the two teams look like. Three matches in a row, the same side. There's uh, Strauss and Cook for England, Warren, Peterson, Collingwood, Bale, Pry, and then the four bowlers. India, almost identical lineup, six batsmen, a lot of experience there, Dhoni, then Kumble, followed by the three seamers. Wasim Jafar and Dinesh Kartik out to open the batting for India. Let's join the highlights. I'm out here in the centre, and as always, the pitch at the oval looks an absolute beauty. Now, the talking point here is. Uh, how will this behave? England 1-0 down in the series. They've got to make the play. But when you look at the surface, it looks like a typical oval track. Uh, there is an even cover of grass, but it looks nice and hard. And let's get a, a local man. Nasser, you played a lot here on this track. This is one of the best tracks in the country. Absolute beauty because you, the ball comes onto the bat, the outfields are quick, there's not a lot of sideways movement, the swing at Trent Bridge, there's a little bit of swing here but not a lot. The thing that England will be desperate for is bounce. We've heard Habijan talking about spongy bounce, the England players call it tennis ball bounce mm. and if you remember Trent Bridge in the second innings, yep. Sachin fending one off, uh, the bounce of Tremlett, that's what England are looking for and there's even rumours around that England are, are thinking of bowling f to get that bounce early but for me, it looks a real belt or a bat first pitch. Now, how does this behave uh, once the new ball loses its shine? Oh, it's a belter. Absolute mm. belter. There'll be spin, there'll be bounce for Kumble and Panasar, but really we're only talking about small things. The ball absolutely comes onto the bat. The only thing is after, with it, the forecast is really good, so rain's not going to save India, but day, day five, sometimes the seamers, Kadik, who was called up here, almost called up yesterday, Andrew mm. Kadik, he bursts the top here quite quite often because it's dry. If we go down, mm. just the bits in between the grass can get very, very dry. And the seamers, more than the spinners, actually just start to burst the surface and get a little bit more bounce. Now, there's talk here that there might not be much swing. Now, Indians have bowled a foolish length and they've got a lot of batsmen out. Now, will they have to alter that length? Well, they'll have to see. I think the new ball, these duke balls in England this summer in county cricket have swung on every ground. So I think it will swing for a while, but that's going to be the key for India. India have bowled brilliantly whilst they've had swing. If it stops swinging today, I think Anil Kumble is going to have to come to the party. He needs to get top order batsmen out. He's been getting a few tail enders out, but he needs to get top order batsmen out. And he'll enjoy the bounce here. So Kumble has a much bigger role to play to back up those swing bowlers. Now, wear your captain's uh, cap on. 1-0 down in the series. You mentioned England might field first. I think that might be the best option. It's a gamble, though, mm -hmm. with this Indian yeah. batting lineup. If it doesn't bounce, if it doesn't swing, if uh, India get a big score, what Vaughan might be thinking of is when he played South Africa here in a, in a similar game that they needed to win. South Africa got a big score, and England got a bigger score, and then won that way. I would personally bat because your best weapon, probably for England, might well be Monty Panasar, day five at the Oval. So probably bat first, but England are thinking of bowling, definitely. Well, there you go. This is a pitch, like I mentioned, once you see the new ball off, it's a belter. The ball will come onto the bat and encourage stroke play. Welcome to the Oval. We are ready in the middle for the toss with two captains, with the mascot Luke and the match referee, Ranjan Madagali. Michael, let's uh, see where that coin goes. Tails. Tails is the call. Tails was the call. It is Tails. We'll have a bet. No. Well, congratulations on winning the toss. You're going to bat. Are you very confident on this pitch then? Yeah, it looks a good wicket. I mean, it uh, looks firm, it, it looks quite dry and, uh, and hopefully you can get first use of the wicket, bat well up front, uh, get a big score on the board and uh, and yeah, and then try and put some pressure on England. Mm. What's your attitude going into this game? Is it an all-out attempt at victory to finish in style or are you just thinking that a draw would give you the series? No, I think we truly believe that if there's five days uh, of, of good cricket here, 450 overs, there's going to be a result one way or the other and uh, we haven't thought of any other, uh, other thought of the game other than the fact that there's going to be a result and we want to be on the right side of it. And it's seen from the way you played at Trent Bridge that you're progressing nicely. Yeah, we've uh, improved as the tour has gone on. Uh, there's no doubt about it. Uh, we didn't have such a good test match at Lords. Uh, the boys really improved at, at Trent Bridge. Uh, hopefully we can keep that going here and, uh, and finish off strong. 
It's going to be the same team, is it? It is going to be the same team, David. And swing was the key for you at Trent Bridge in terms of bowling in and out. Yeah, I mean, we bowled really well. We bowled right lengths. I think mm -hmm. we pitched the ball up uh, in, in these conditions. I think our, our young attacks had adapted well to these conditions. Uh, mm -hmm. Bowled really well, uh, and I think uh, a bit more of the same here. Might be a bit different here, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see. And uh, we get a chance to bat first, so probably get a chance to see what's happening around uh, as well. Yeah, in terms of batting here, there's always a suspicion there'll be more bounce. Uh, are your batsmen ready for that? Yeah, I think our batsmen enjoy uh, the, the chance to play some shots, as, mm -hmm. as you know. I mean, there's some very good players out there who've played uh, across the world and mm -hmm. got runs everywhere around the world. So, uh, yeah, I think if they get Set. I think uh, conditions, uh, the ball bounces and comes onto the bat, it really should suit them. All right, well, good luck. We'll see what happens. Thank you. Uh, Michael, is that a disappointment then to, to lose that toss? Uh, well, we'd like to have had a bat. Um, you know, it looks a, a decent toss to win, but, you know, we've got an opportunity to come out this morning and try and take some wickets. It's going to bounce. It's going to bounce on the first day at the Oval, so, you know, we've got to try and put the ball in the right area, try and get the ball to swing around today and try and put India under pressure by getting some wickets. Is it going to be swing or bounce today, you think, that's going to be your greatest ally? It could be both. It's... Um, you know, as I said, it looks a good pitch, but mm. sometimes at the over it can swing nicely. Um, you know, we have got bowlers who can extract bounce from the pitch, and if it can bounce, you know, we can put them under pressure that way. But we've just got to put the ball in the right area, be consistent in what we do, and try and put them under, under pressure today. Now, you've got a very good record of bouncing back from defeat, personally, as a captain. Are you looking forward to keeping that record? Absolutely. It's, uh, it's a great challenge for the team. We've... I think we've played some good cricket in this series. Obviously, we're one nil down, but you know we have played some good cricket. We're looking forward to a, a good five days. I believe the forecast is good. You know we've got some good memories of the Oval, and yeah. hopefully try and get the victory to level the series. Okay, one quick question. Uh, tactically, uh, will you be using any external means, uh, jelly beans, anything? That's all, that's all part of the history now. Is it? <laughs> I'll leave that one with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks very much. Yeah, beautifully put. All right, so that is the situation here in the middle. It's India who won the toss. They will bat first. And so this is how the two teams will line up. This is India, of course, uh, very much the same side that took on um, England in the first two test matches. And I think once again, as you know, with India batting for so much will depend on Jaffa and Karthik. Rahul Dravid, Sachin Tendulkar, Saurav Ganguly and VVS Lakshman, that will be the core batting. Mahindra Singh Dhoni, he's got one score in this series so far. Then Kumle and the three quicks, Zaheer Khan, R.P. Singh and Srishant will be quite a player to watch, I suspect in this particular game. Now England, and this is interesting as well, again the same 11, so Strauss and Cook, the two left-handed openers, there have been so many in recent times. Then going on with My Michael Vaughan, Kevin Peterson, he's turned up to play, there was a fear that he might not, but I haven't heard of anybody missing a game because of fever, of all things. And uh, then there's Bell coming in up at uh, at number six after Collingwood. Then the wicket keeper, they're pretty well balanced actually. Six batsmen, wicket keeper at seven, three seamers and a spinner. So that's how both teams have decided to go in. We're looking at side bottom, Anderson and Tremblay. So talking about bounce, we'll wait and see if that if that happens. Dinesh Kartik to take the first ball of the match. India winning the toss. Ryan side bottom from the Vauxhall end. delivery from Anderson those are the first runs for India Jaffa getting onto a short one yes he had wit on offer and uh, what's good to see is uh, he backs his strengths it was him Jaffa there are no half measures on this occasion he went hard at it That'll make him feel better, first boundary of the test match. Jaffer off the mark. It's a great shot. That's a terrific stroke. It's eight on the board, four overs bowled. Not well forward to this, Kartik. There isn't a third man. It'll be two runs and Dinesh Kartik opens up his account. That'll go. There isn't a third man and it's uh, the gift for. So far, Jimmy Anderson hasn't been at the stumps enough. He's been uh, wide of off stump swinging away a lot of the time. But that delivery, he got it right on line. 
thing that will be a little disconcerting for England is the fact that uh, it caught an edge, although it was played straight down by Wasim Jaffa, but it didn't carry very far at all. That is a super shot from Jaffa. And it's the big one. It's a six. Fast pitch. And it gets the momentum. It's 21 for no wicket. 21 without loss. And uh, the run's coming in boundaries. Anything off target like that. And Dennis Karthik will be on to it. Panisar is going to give chase. Oh, this is going to be a good race. Look out. Monty. <laughs> Well, they run just three. And Monty gets a huge uh, round of applause. Good effort, good commitment. Uh, this is a positive start by India, which is good to see. Good shot. Stood tall, Wasim Jaffa. And it's a chase for the England captain, Michael Vaughan, and the ball's going to win it. Well, this is a top shot tall man Jaffer he liked batting on the surface because of the bounce but he's played this beautifully just allows the ball to come on to him stands up tall meets it on top of the bounce and a nice punch with that bottom hand that has hurried very quickly very quickly he used the swing very well uh, Wasim Jaffer did waited for the ball to come on to his uh, pads let the ball do its bit and then helped it along effortless shot have a look at this really the swing on the pads asking for trouble and he's got it this is uh, a chapati shot as they call it bread and butter for the Indians if you bowl on their pads And more runs as well. This is turning out to be a productive over. Well, his jumper is expecting that to run to the boundary, and he's going to look a bit stupid here. But that's all he's going to get, only two. Well bowled. That's why Tremlett will be a handful. It didn't quite uh, come off the pitch quickly, otherwise uh, Jaffer would have been in even more trouble. He's uh, looked a little ungainly over here because uh, the ball has taken its time to come on, but he's not played it well. Look at the way he's uh, pushed at it. The short ball is best played with soft hands in front of your face that's close that's very close came back in and seemed to be pitched up David Lloyd's all excited I just wonder if it's gonna go down leg or over the top you get a consistent bounce here at the oval it's a massive appeal from England the ball of foolish length that jags back its height I think as it runs on there it's hit above the knee roll Hawkeye what would he tell us is it going over the top and sometimes you get runs for shots like those as well this is a good over from Tremlett he's just pushed his length up a touch all sorts of things for umpires to consider we talk about the pitch and the bounce and then you look at this guy, and six foot eight. So he just quite naturally will bounce the ball. Didn't really hit it hard, just pushed it, timed it brilliantly. It's 44 for no loss. So there's that area on the onside and. Uh, and one of the reasons struggling every time he bowls in that area is in these batsmen are so good off their pads three
good for two. I think it came on the bottom of the bat. Sure, there must have been reverse swing in the past. Well, talk to Gary Sorbers, the great cigar field Sorbers said there's no reverse swing, it's either swinging in or swinging out. Uh, he gets really touchy about it. 50 comes up for India in the 14th over. You would have played a lot of that, Sonny. Yes, I think uh, there used to be a swing, but not as much as uh, with the new ball. Reverse swing is uh, just a fancy term that's come and that should go for a boundary as well the third slip is a little wide there's that gap between the second and the third slip and it's gone precisely between that gap not deliberately I might add but at the same time it still runs on the board that's important Fifty-four runs from eighty-two balls. If you're, if they were climbing a peak, they'd say they've reached base camp one. Chief first objective. It's almost an hour, a little over an hour now. They haven't been separated. And again, in your first hour, your assessments are there. Yes, it's a good pitch. Just getting used to this pace and the bounce. And opening batsman would be saying, "I've got over my first hour." Now we get over the first session and you're looking to bat for a long, long time. First use of a good pitch. Played well this morning. No need to run. And that's gone pretty quickly to the boundary as well. Well, there's nobody there at mid-on. It's a very attacking field. You get value for shot here. Just eased on that through mid on, nothing more, just eased it through. We marvel, don't we, at these cricket bats, the magnificent cricket bats you get the middle of the bat. Short, pulled away, and that'll be four. Well, it's been an extremely positive start from uh, India. They've taken advantage of winning the toss, batting on a good pitch. Up in the air and gone. One shot too many for Jaffa, and Anderson breaks through for England. Well, against a run of play, but then a fielder was kept specifically for that shot. Peterson was the man in the deep. We saw Jaffa already in this innings hitting a six. And uh, would be disappointed because uh, there was a fielder there. He was not looking to keep the ball down. And straight down the throat of Kevin Peterson just what England needed Jaffer after looking really good in making 35 is dismissed and India 62 for one Rahul Dravid age 34 right hand batsman Rahul Dravid 34 years of age and uh, by his high standards this is a match now where he could do with a big score and he loves playing here 217 his last visit on the 2002 India tour and uh, this series averaging just 19 he's short of runs but uh, Ravi you would know Rahul more than anyone else in, in this box and he would be desperate to get India to a great start and to get a big score himself he likes this ground his highest score in England's on this ground but uh for him to really get into the action again, he needs to get off to a start. He's that kind of player. And the, if you're in the opposition, you believe you can get him out early. That's the time you have to get him. But otherwise, he'll uh, make you pay. Uh, 
I think Wasim Jafar would be really disappointed. Poor shot selection in the end. Especially when there is a man in the deep kept for that shot, he'll be livid because uh, these are conditions where as an opening batsman, if you get into the 30s, you've got to make it count. It's a wicket for England, India 62 for one. It's the same side for India, it's the same side for England in this test match. Wasim Jaffer looking so well set. Gone for 35, the trap set by England, Peterson in a short third man position. It's a great shot. Kartik very positive, that's four rounds. 66 for one. India's captain is off the mark, and that'll run away for four. Now this is a very good shot because there's some adjustment made here by Dravid. Just got the feeling initially he was looking to cut it with a horizontal bat. Thought there will be some width, but he comes down on it nicely. Wasn't much width on offer, but that's a classic case of uh, getting high with the cocked wrist. We can come down on the ball and keep it to ground. Just seeing the shots played on the surface now, it shows it's a good batting surface. You can hit through the line. The other thing, despite the fact that we've had a bit of rain uh, in England recently and the ground is, uh, is quite green, that outfield is so far still. One thing uh, you must remember this outfield is quick because I've, I've never seen a ground that has so many pitches. And the square goes all the way from one side of the ground to the other. Oh dear, that's gone as well. Maybe not quite where Dravid wanted it, but it gets him another boundary. <laughs> He's come out positive. I think even for Dravid, the man will drop back uh, to third man. In fact, uh, Peterson just dropping back. He's flashed hard here. Now, just talking about these practice pitches, there are almost 35 to 40 pitches there. I've never seen a ground with that many pitches, so it clearly suggests if the ball goes square of the wicket, it's going to race away to the boundary. Be a couple more here as well. Panasar with the chase and Tremlett will get there first. Could be a third on here. Kartik wants a third and Dravid doesn't. So 10 from the over. It is 76 for one. Short pulled away to Panasar. Monty's covering a lot of ground. The oval's a big playing surface. He's square log on uh, one umpire and he's square leg on the. Uh, one over, I should say, and he's square leg on the other side. Yes, Raul Dravid, really nicely played on top of the bounce. 78 for one, good start this for India. Both sides unchanged from the second test at Trent Bridge. India taking the lead in this three test series. short and it's gone again Dravid on top of it and Dravid on top of Anderson it's 82 for one now they look for two here Ryan's side bottom so Kartik moves on into the 30s he's 31 India 84 for one Well, at the moment he needs a couple of fielders more than the law allows him to. Because he's getting a lot of boundaries down the third man area. In fact, period, he's getting a lot of boundaries. 
Well, it was good cricket. It was a fantastic delivery from Anderson. It bounced and moved away, and it was pretty well played from Dinesh Kartik. It was a high-risk shot, opening the face. Bit of a chase here. Oh, well done. I think the lead back in has saved him. I think that's uh, very, very well done by James Anderson. Four, I reckon. Umpires will have a look. Just... Oh, did it hit his shoulder there? No, you might be right. Oh, shit, he's OK. The last bit's fine. He jumps back over and gets the ball. I think this will be a better picture. The key is now the ball's left him, so I, I think he's done all right. Unless he just nicked his shoulder. But I think it deserved to be uh, good on as a save. He made good distance. Now, this is the more in interesting part. Well done here. Yeah. If you were the England physio, you'd say, oh, don't do that too often, please. But right enough to do with knees. Yes, but it's a fantastic effort. More runs. Just a gentle nudge for two. 22 overs gone. India 96 for one. <laughs> that terrific boundary brings the 100 up and uh, also shows Rahul Ravid is uh, appreciating uh, winning the toss and batting first on a pitch as good as this one. Tell you what, that 100 is coming very good time as well. India going at 4.38 runs and over. This is just the 23rd over. Batted wonderfully straight for the first four balls, then flicked one. And there goes Monty! has timed it wrong again and they will take three where it should have been one go Monty go you are so so wonderfully naive 103 for one good shot very good shot good positive stride found the space on the offside He's been very, very impressive, uh, Dinesh Karthik. <coughs> well, Nasser Hussain sitting next to me said, oh God, and I think that sums it up. Well, England's most accurate bowler. I think he just tried a real round arm, slingy in-swinging delivery. Pryor not happy that it's signaled by, as maybe he thinks it should have been wide. No chance for Pryor the action there really down the leg side four more down to third man interesting to see that ball did something off the deck against the right hander well it might have moved just a little bit away from the right hander which is not what uh, Ryan side bottom balls but it was just enough and at a, at a good enough pace uh, where Dinesh Karthik could make make that late adjustment and help the ball along to the uh, boundary. No third man. Maybe Michael Wan should be thinking in terms of having uh, a third man now to save those boundaries. It's a 50 partnership between these two now. In quick time as well. 70 deliveries. More positive play from the Indian batsman. More problems for Vaughan. Wide of the crease, side bottom. Beautifully played. Dinesh Kartik. Now it feels not that quick. If the running's good, they should stroll back for three. And are the over 116 for one. Panasar over the wicket. It's a dangerous shot from over the wicket. Take a single. 17 for one. 50 for Dinesh Kartik. He's played quite beautifully. Acknowledges the applause. A good pitch, but you still have to bat and play well. Yes, uh, he has batted well. He's played just the kind of innings Rahul Dravid uh, would have wanted him uh, to play. And 
love it. Uh, quick to walk up, say congratulations. Must have told him, don't uh, relax now. Ravid <laughs> just blocks it to silly point, and India win the session. 117 for one, a partnership of 55, unbroken between Dravid and Kartik and problems for the England captain. Well, it's the afternoon session now with India resuming on 117 for one. Ryan Sidebottom is going to start around the wicket to Dinesh Kartik. That's a good start. Take that. First ball of the afternoon. It's gone for four. And in how much more is there to come of this? Well, that's a glorious way to start. Um, probably a light lunch for the batsman and bowler. And then he's feasted on this delivery. He's looked very, very good. In fact, um, Dinesh Kardik seems to be getting more and more confident about this opening uh, position. And he's thinking about him as a stroke-making stroke opener. He's been very consistent been getting a start uh, most times at the top of the order it looks like he's really enjoying the position and it's the sort of position that you do have to enjoy batting in it if you if you're either asked to do it or if you're pushed up the order and you really don't enjoy it then you're better off not doing it because opening really is such a, a specialist position that I think the little bit of experience I didn't want to do it and when I was sort of forced to do it it, it was as though my heart wasn't really in it so but just looking at Dinesh Kadi he looks like every time he walks out to open the batting he's just enjoying it more and more well you've already given me the answer because I wanted to ask you did you want to open but you, you've given that answer Ian change of uh, trajectory now from Ryan side bottom coming over the wicket the much more orthodox for the left orthodox for the left arm swing bowler left arm swing bowler he is and he's gone again for another four what a good start to the afternoon Sunny Saib opening bat India captain well, the Indians obviously have had a very good lunch because uh, they've got these two juicy half follies, one to Karthik, one to Rahul Dravid, both leaning into the drive and uh, finding the gap. Dinesh Kartik in the Maruthi World Cricket Ratings is 20. And the way he's batting, and certainly batting in this series, there's only one direction that he's going in the Maruthi World Cricket Ratings. That's up. 127-1, Kartik on 56. Drive it facing. Well, there's the insurance cover for Monty Panasar. He's got the man out at deep point. Good looking shot. There'll be a couple here for Kartik. That's a bright sunny start, literally and metaphorically, for India winning the toss. 131 for one side bottom back around the wicket and that's Horvise Matt Pryor won't enjoy that the keeper gets another red four buys against his name he really will be unhappy with that but side bottom sliding down that leg side I'm not so sure that Ryan side bottom is, is on uh, totally on song with his uh, his job here he bowled without luck basically for a day and a half at Trent Bridge and here he's come round the wicket, he's trying to change it much in the way that R.P. Singh and Zahir Khan did in Nottingham. That could race away, that'll beat the man at deep point and it's gone for four. 
And that's why uh, Rahul Dravid is such a good player because uh, look at the way he's played it very, very late. He waited for the ball to turn. He's been prodding on the front foot. This is marginally short. Quick to seize on it. And there is uh, a short third man, but uh, he's played it very well. Catch it! Catch it, shouts Matt Pryor. Catch it now. Can fetch it back from the boundary. Another good shot. Two fielders kept there for the drive. That's uh, where Rahul Dravid uh, succumbed in the uh, Trenbridge test. But he's uh, gone between the two fielders. It wasn't a catch. It was hit on the ground. It bounced between the two fielders. Was a bum ball. Wasn't a catch at all. But what a shot. That's just a push for two. Karthik will go back for the second. Great shot. Wonderful stroke from India's captain. Well, he hasn't got a big score so far in the series, uh, Rahul Dravid. And uh, this is uh, the ground where last time India was here in 2002, he got a big double under. He got 217. And uh, that uh, shot shows that he's looking uh, to get some something big like that. This is uh, looking good for two. India playing some uh, very, very positive cricket here. 4.2 and over. Not out is the verdict. Monte was sure there was something there. Well, it's come out of the rough, hasn't it? It's gone off the pad. Oh, I'll tell you what, that wasn't a bad decision at all. Very easy to think there's a feather of an inside edge on it. That's a very fine decision. 161 for one. A hundred partnership between Gravid and Kartik. Oh, shake hands. The batting has been hard work in the last two test matches. The ball has swung around and you had to play late. Break down that partnership 67. Dinesh Kartik 48. Raul Dravid 48. Contribution from Dravid 43 from Kartik. They were coming back for two. This is good running. 50 to Rahul Dravid, it's first for a long time. Didn't get past 50 in three test matches in South Africa. It's taken three test matches here. And it's come in 82 balls, but he's looked very, very fluent. It could be uh, danger signs for England this. The next over, have you got his reaction? Dravid uh, just seems to be in the mood, uh, not thinking about scores. He's just thinking um, about batting on and on seems to be in that kind of a mood one sixty four for one it was in the slot it was waiting to be hit and Kartik's in the kind of mood uh, not to say no yes he just keeps uh, putting the bad ball away doesn't he Tremlett's try to mix his length up and uh, upset Kartik but he's been up to it this was right up, just struggling with his length. He's either too full or a little bit on the shorter side. Just struggling to get that right length. Beautiful shot. That's an excellent shot from Karthik. Good footwork. The ball was swinging and uh, you needed a big stride. Leans into it nicely also. Good weight transfer. I like the tempo in this innings uh, maintained by Karthik. He does this often. Chips down the track. Shortens the length. Doesn't allow the ball to swing too much. 
times in the series he's gone into a shell once he's got set. Not today. Six test matches now that he's opened the batting for India and he's got a half century at least in every one of them. Single rounded off, it's 175 for one. They'll get two here. How beautiful is that place? And that's gone all the way. Well played, young man. He knew exactly what he was doing. Excellent footwork inside out, over the top. There's only mid off, there's no one at cover. This is good footwork to get inside the line of the ball and then uh, and gives him the chance to free his arms. He didn't try and hit it too hard, just the extension of the follow through once he was not quite there to the pitch of the ball. And so, 183 for one. Four bowlers used by Michael Vaughan, the wicket taker Jimmy Anderson. Oh, he's bowled him! Anderson gets his man, Raul Dravid is walking back. Didn't think that was going to happen today. So Dravid well set, taking something special, full length Yorker delivery from Anderson, he sprays it around a little bit Anderson but he's got that reputation he can bowl a wicket taking delivery, that's a steamer, absolute belter, middle stump has unhinged one of the best players in the world today and it's swinging that way, sure is Raul Dravid 55, 189 for two. Hi, I'm Sachin Tendulkar. I'm 34 years old. I'm right-handed batsman, right-arm bowler. Tendulkar in with India, 189 for two. And listen to this and watch this for a reception. Ms. Tendulkar with an average of 55. And in this series, with that 91 at Trent Bridge. This is the end of Dravid. It's a great delivery, it really is. You look at who it is, Raul Dravid on 55, on a perfect pitch, he's going to take something special. Yes, he's turned him square, hasn't he, uh, with that delivery. It's a very, very good delivery, a gem of a delivery. He does pull a good yock, he does get the ball to curve away very nicely from uh, the right-hander. He hasn't been very accurate at the start of his uh, spells uh, in uh, both the Trent Bridge as well as uh, this test over here. He bowled splendidly at Lords, made the batsman play just about every delivery, but not here. He's uh, given uh, the opening batsman a fair few sighters, bowled way too wide. But now with the older ball, he seems to be far more accurate making the batsman play just about every delivery. Maybe, maybe if Michael Ward should be looking at maybe giving him the first change rather than the, uh, the brand new ball. They've all gone up, they've all gone up and Steve Buckner hasn't. Good decision for me, from Steve Buckner. Very difficult for an umpire, it's down the leg side, it's a short delivery, the field is set at leg slip. I think it comes off his body, we'll see here. Oh gracious, it's absolutely nowhere near him. Oh, that has gone. It's flown off of a couple of things. It's given as runs by Ian Howe, the umpire. Just that occasional short ball from side bottom. This is well directed. It's a good bouncer. I'm not sure whether it's too quick for Kartik or he just pulls out of the shot. He's been in 87 for quite some time. I think he pulls out of the shot but leaves his back there. Well, 
think he decided at the last moment not to go ahead with the uh, pull shot, but he kept his bat hanging. Well, not quite hanging up like a periscope, but still uh, uh, in a in a position where the ball just nicked it. Luckily for him, uh, it took the edge and went over the wicket keeper's head. He looked for two here. But this is going to be interesting because I, I just get the feeling England believe that the nook is now a little vulnerable to the short pitch ball. More buys. Four buys is the signal. We'll talk about that when we're back. 199 for two. Fallen short. Gone for 91. India lose number three. And after playing so well, it required a loose shot. But a fine innings from a fine young man. You could almost see it coming, Harsha. The pressure was building at the other end because Indians have gone on the defensive. And Karthik's been denied the strike for a bit. And he plays away from the body after concentrating so hard. It's a loose shot, but England will take it. Three wickets on this pitch and two coming out of nowhere. And suddenly the pendulum swings. 199 for three. Hi, I'm Saurav Ganguly, age 34, left hand batsman, right arm medium pace bowler. Saurav Ganguly comes out to join Sachin Tendulkar as England for the first time today are presented with a wonderful opportunity. Two wickets in ten runs. Tendulkar looking shaky at one end. Now Saurav Ganguly comes out. Another wicket here. England will be straight back into this match. Where they probably already are. This was the wicket. Oops, a little bubble in the hand there for Matt Pryor. Don't quite think it was the most comfortable catch. Didn't quite settle in. It looked a bit clumsy in the end. Finger went up straight away. Confess in my ear, I heard nothing, but Ravi, Ravi Shastri says he did and went up straight away as well. I didn't hear anything. But uh, just got the feeling the way everybody reacted that there was a clear nick. But I didn't hear it. Yeah, because the, the only thing that it would have hit was the bat. You could see Karthik's body language also suggested he played the fall short but here's a chance now for England to bounce back 199 for three add another couple of wickets and uh, this whole game will uh, turn on its head India in the ascendancy for most of the day and this last half an hour has belonged to England two important wickets two batsmen well set that's the important thing you've got two players now who were starters, Tendulkar on two, Ganguly still to get off the mark. <laughs> There's a different air blowing around the oval suddenly. It's got a British accent to it. 200 comes up, but it comes up for a streaky shot. That's one thing with Ganguly is he, he backs his strengths. So he might have got out uh, playing that shot on a few occasions, but it's also given him a lot of runs. And I'm all for a player who backs his strengths. It's just that uh, he's got to know the right time to try and attempt it. It's just spend some time at the crease, get used to the pace and the bounce. And he could play an important role here being a left-hander. Every time we've seen uh, Ganguly at the crease, there's been a partnership in the series. With the left hand, right hand batting combination. Just holding up the bowler there. He, he likes to play the game at his own pace, does Ganguly. It's a bit of a highway down the lakeside, really, and uh, I don't think it matters where Matt Pryor is because anything down the lakeside is going to go four buys. 
more like that. Good timing. The ball will run away to the boundary. Yes, what's good to see is looking to play straight. It's it's not an area Ganguly favours. But uh, when he does hit a ball in that direction, you know his mindset is good. He's someone who likes to play square of the wicket on the offside most of the time. Didn't offer a shot, but the uh, ball is never going to come back, and that is T. 56 overs, so they're four short of where they should have been. And India reached 211 for three. Went straight up there. If a youngster spots something, would he be a bit too much in awe of Tendulkar? Would someone go up to him and say, why are you batting like this? Because I think you're far better off attacking the bowling and taking them on with your bat. Would there be someone? You can see that that's gone straight off pad. Would there be someone who would go and tell him that? That before. Played fine. Ganguly is getting on with it. 12. Now that looks a little better. But it looks very good. Yes, good allowance for the ball to swing. And uh, footwork a lot more positive when he took that stride forward. Anderson just looking to mix it up, but uh, Endulka awake to the situation on hand. Leans into it nicely as well. Good shot. And Lucas called for for two, but I think they should be looking at three here. Yeah. A very good shot, and it's an indication that uh, Tendulkar is now looking to score some runs off the back foot. That's the important thing in that shot. Shot off it, so uh, the umpire will signal that. 2:32 for three. That'll do nicely. Ganguly putting side bottom away. And look at where side bottom is. Side bottom just stood at the end of his follow through because he knew that uh, it wasn't a bad delivery, but uh, Ganguly played it uh, as if he was having a net. It's not a bad delivery at all. He hasn't even uh, followed through with the bat. The bat just stays there. Timing. Sheer timing that. There's a massive boundary count in this innings. There's 29 fours, two sixes. That is super shot from Tendoka. The intention was there. Somebody shouted catch from the England team. I wonder who. Could be Matt Pryor. But he was probably asking somebody from the crowd to run in and catch it. He is. He's asking the chap in row four. Lucky Monte! Lucky Monte! Come on, buddy! Go, oh, get up, get up! Buddy, 
Oh, Pryor has put him down. Side bottom, can't even look. Pryor has put Tendulkar down. You don't drop this guy. Well, Matt Pryor, is it going to slip? Good piece of bowling from side bottom. Induces that drive outside edge. Go on, catch it, catch it. Oh, down it goes. Now what's going through his mind? It's not going to first slip. It's keeper's catch, definitely keeper's catch. What's going through his mind? What's going through Vaughan's mind? What's going through side bottom's mind? Answers on a postcard, please. And what's going through Sachin Tendulkar's mind? He will say to himself, well, that was a bad shot, loose shot. Who wasn't concentrating enough, got a little carried away by that angle delivery, went for it, poked at it. He will be saying to himself, I won't do it, shouldn't do it. He'd want to make uh, the uh, wicket keeper pay. Tell you one thing, if uh, that's he really hasn't moved uh, at all, uh, Matt Pryor. And if there's one person that the Indian team would dearly love to see uh, not too well, it's uh, Matt Pryor. <laughs> They've got a little, uh, what do you call, a ditty made about Matt Pryor, which uh, you can't repeat on uh, television, the Indian team, but there it is re-emphasizing the fact that you need wicket keepers to keep wickets not batsmen uh, who keep wickets you can't afford to drop batsmen of the caliber of Sachin Tendulkar well that's a let off for India and for Tendulkar on the score of 21 dropped by Matt Pryor off Ryan side bottom Ganguly's on 21 Travid with 55, Jaffa the first to go 35, Dinesh Kartik 91. India are 246 for three. Here's Panasar. A couple of runs here for Tendulkar. It'll just be two runs because Ganguly has slipped. Well, he's slipped and he's dropped his gloves, so have Ganguly. Sachin Tendulkar's runs just into the leg side. It should have been three. There'll be one here, and I think they'll stay for one. That's the 50 partnership between Ganguly and Tendulkar. 50 off 103 balls. Well, the two big players at the crease here. So much experience and so much ability in scoring runs just feel that once you get on a pitch like this and we've just seen that chance go begging Easily done by Ganguly. Side bottom. It's 2.53 for three. Nineteen overs to play today. They'll get ten in with the new ball. They should, should end in 55 minutes. They've got 19 overs left. That's a shot he plays so well and has played so well over the years. It's a big one. And as always, he makes it look easy. 
it's a pure timing and very good footwork not quite getting to the pitch of the ball so just uh, frees his arms goes through with the shot and clears the ground comfortably it's just a matter of time when you have the field up for Ganguly before he attempts this I'm amazed the Indians haven't used their feet more to Monty Panasar. That's bounced and cut away backward. Backward a point for four. Singh picked up five for 34 against Kent in the first innings and in the second five for 54 so he's got 10 for 88 in a match a couple of very promising young batter at Kent side Joe Denley played very well against India for the emerging Lions of at Chelmsford just feel he's got to mix it up now Monty's bowl too long from over the wicket he's got to come around again gives him more chances of getting a right-hander out Happy with one. just seems easy for Gumbly to play left arm spinners and I think we saw we keep talking about the 144 at Brisbane and I think he's got a lot of runs against Stuart McGill who's going around the wicket at him as well two again and quite easily as well 76 so is gone 273 oh that's a good shot this is not a bad shot it is a good shot Collingwood has done it again for his captain he's made the important breakthrough Ganguly is LBW well I think uh, there were two sounds heard and Ganguly would be very disappointed oh mama it's a thick inside edge not just an edge it's a thick inside edge Ganguly is showing the bat but it uh, hasn't worked because umpire Ian Howell has declared him out LBW for 37 and India have lost their fourth wicket for 276 Hi, I'm Vivis Lakshman, 32 years old, right hand middle order batsman and right hand off spin bowler. Vivis Lakshman comes in for India. Tendulkar is there on 34 and uh, a poor decision by the umpire. That saw the end of Saurabh Ganguly. 83 test matches, Vivis Lakshman at an average of 42 in this series. With the 54 at Trent Bridge, he averages 36. Well, this is the decision. This is the ball. It's a thick inside edge. It's not even a faint one. Ganguly holds the bat. 
and he cannot believe it. He cannot believe it. And a resigned smile. What a waste of time he's got. I think there's a case for the third umpire getting on the walkie-talkie and saying to the umpire out in the middle, retract the decision, he's hit it, call him back. A change of decision, I think there's a case for that in the game now. It's 276 for four. It's gone down the leg side, it's a no ball from Tremlett. Dead ball, no shot off it. Four more. Pryor struggling again. It's four buys. And it's the over. It's 281 for four. Stretching for it. Latchman will pick up two. I didn't, certainly didn't see anything that Saurabh Ganguly did that would uh, require him visiting the uh, the referee. No, he didn't. Uh, he might have just shown uh, the uh, the bat, which a lot of batsmen tend to do uh, when they have uh, edged the ball onto the pads, just as a precaution. So that's what uh, Sauro Ganguly did and then after he saw that the umpire had raised his finger he had a rueful smile on his face. So I don't think he can be hauled up for smiling at the umpire. <laughs> Bat and pat. It's 283 for four. Yes, they've taken the uh, second new ball in the 83rd over. Oh. One off the over, 284 for four. beauty when you get that new ball there's something will happen you just mentioned that England have to make India play you can't leave the ball comfortably at this stage you've got to make him play this is a beauty very similar delivery got him out in the game at Chelmsford young young quick bowler bowled beautifully for three overs and his Graham onions bowled very well for three overs and then Tenduka came in at two for two uh, hit 171 and onions is never the same again look at that thank you says Lakshman it's called a wide he'll have to play one more well a massive reaction there from Tremlett the bowler as he kicks the turf in disgust it's a complete mystery isn't it how an international can bowl something like this Poor over, 292 for four. Right, I think this should be a better contest. The side bottom bowling a better line than Tremlett. Against Tenduka, he'll think there's a point to prove. If he can knock him back here. Backward shot leg has gone about three, four yards further back. Shot back at square leg almost now, just two slips and a gully. They get two. When was the last time that Sachin scored at 32? 30, is it 33 runs per hundred balls? 
he's absolutely taking root out there hasn't he the determination that he wants to be there tomorrow his practice that he went through this morning not scored a hundred in the series he should he it's the other way of looking at it is he's, he's faced 124 balls most, most times in his career he would have been 60 65 70 track rate after December 2006 enough people to keep numbers like this is 50 before that 54 I'm faithfully conveying all the numbers the producers giving us to you I can hear them I know where they're coming from so you say you didn't want me to pass them on <laughs> now all I'm saying I think is that the thing we're seeing now in the last year and a half is uh, it's very different from the Tenduka that the world saw and admired and loved for 16 years, admiring him for a different reason now. He's, what I like about him is willing to be a scrapper. <laughs> I don't think we acknowledge scrappers in the world somehow. We, we love people who play lovely, elegant shots, but we don't look at scrappers. We don't, we don't give them the credit that's due to them. Well, I don't think he's taking anything out of him. He's still been very watchful. He, he's been terrific in defense when well, you look at his quality of defensive shots today have been excellent but when he's decided just to break out and look for his boundaries he's hit four fours they've been quite exquisite boundaries that he's hit he's just camping in there he wants a huge score here they run away for two more Might have been a third on another day, but they'll stay with two. The yellows are left alone. That's no problem at all. In fact, uh, most of them, I think, have come from Tremlett. He's played, what, one, two, three. He's defended a couple. Now, if you were, if you were England's coach or England's captain, you'd look at that. You'd look at that and say, well, what a waste of time. At the very least, he's got a. He's got to play. Either defend. You don't want him to score runs, but you've got to make him play. Last ball is going round the wicket to BVS Lakshman. All right, will he swing it in? Or hit the deck and go away. Will be an inspired choice. 297 for four. Challenge before Tremblay is to make the batsman play. He's uh, got a man right down on the boundary. Might even be in front of square. That's Panisar. Another down at long leg. A catcher at leg gully. That's a much better ball. Strange shot. Look for a while that he was in trouble with the ball that came back in. He was looking to work it into the leg side. A thick edge and once the ball gets onto those uh, practice pitches it goes away quickly. 300 on the board. India winning the toss, batting first, rack the runs up. 300 for four. Just coming to the end of day one. Yeah, that's mirrored what we felt. Now that comes more out of the VVS Lakshman form book. That's a show real. Yes, if you don't have a mid-on and then you're looking to bowl straight, you've got to be careful with someone like Lakshman. He'll take you even from the stumps. Middle and off, he'll work you on the onside. 
plenty of bat here. Watch there, it's off stump. He's taken it from there. Worked it away on the onside. Well, the reason we're all waiting is Monty's <laughs> had to come running all the way back to square leg again. There he is on the right of your screen. From backwards square leg all the way to long on, you almost feel sorry. He's off again on another travel, is Monty. He's retrieved the ball from mid on by the boundary. He's had to come back to square leg to his fielding position. Michael Vaughan's now moved him to deep backwards square. He's on a route march out there. Having just moved him to square leg two deliveries ago. I think he kept it down well in the end. And that ball had run away for four as well. More runs down the third man, but I thought he did well to uh, keep it under control. Yeah, it also brings up 5,000 runs uh, for BVS Lakshman. He needed 14. He's gone to 16. Comes up on the uh, public address system, so the crowd cheer up. That's a lot of silk. 5002 average of 42.4. Uh, 10 centuries, 20 and a half centuries. Oh, good start. 308 for four. Three oh eight for four. Eighty-eight overs have been bowled. Just two to go and a bowling change. Anderson now replacing side bottom. Last uh, big effort from uh, Anderson. Try and see if he can sneak in another wicket here for England. He's got Tendulkar on strike. And we see that uh, similar field again. Every time Tendulka comes on strike to Anderson, the leg slip is positioned quite fine, close in, a deep square leg and a deep fine leg. So it's Anderson looking to ball in swing and mainly short of a length as what we've seen previously. Not sure it's the right tactic to Tendulka, I just don't think it is. That's better. That's where a fielder should have been. Especially with the second new ball taken. Two overs to go for stumps. There was swing there and that was catchable if there was a third slip. Ravi, I'm really glad that I said I don't think that's the tactic because he's got the field set for short bowling. He's got a new ball in his hand. He's an outswing bowler. He's one of the best players we've ever seen. Gets a thick outside edge and it flashes between third slip and gully. It's the wrong, it's completely the wrong area to attack him. Brand new ball, outswing bowler. Got to be three slips. Got to be. Can't see this field at leg slip. Still no third slip. Now leg slip comes to a third slip now. Question to be asked is, uh, has the horse bolted? But at least it's a better position. Gives Anderson another opportunity. Wants a single. Sent back by Lakshman. Well, we get that third slip in now. Just makes you think about horses and fields and bolting. Horse is gone. The gate's wide open. Well, 
Well, it's been a, a different innings uh, from Sachin Tendulkar, but from India's point of view, the important thing, he's still there. The fact that he spent time at the crease today, if he's there at stumps, it will only do him a world of good. You might see a totally different Tendulkar tomorrow morning. Still one over to go after this. Two balls remaining here. And this over. Mm. Well, this innings of Sachin Tendulkar will be determined tomorrow. If he gets through this evening in a great position, India winning the toss and over 300 on the board in a day's play, just four wickets down. the context of this innings will be judged tomorrow you see if he's 150 or 170 not out this first 40 just to be in a platform 312 for four one over remaining As you can see the partnerships today best one between Karthik and Dravid that laid the foundation then another good one between Ganguly and Tendulkar. Ganguly unfortunate to be given out uh, leg before wicket. Now the last over of the day. Stremlet. Just wonder how India will play this. Sachin Tendulkar took that last over. VVS Lachman is on strike now against Tremlett. Is it down to him to take these? last six deliveries or will they look to rotate the strike and just share this last over you always think that as a non-striker right now you're in the last over that's two deliveries gone you just want your point. You stay down there. You're okay. You're doing brilliantly. I'll watch you. And you won't see too many non-strikers backing up like they would, say, at the start of the day's play. On the whole, uh, India will be happy with this effort. Winning the toss, getting over 300 on the board. Still six wickets in hand, a batsman well set. Now they've had a good day. I think it's so important to win the toss and they quieten the game down, the opening partnership of 62. I think, Ravi, this will be different than Trent Bridge. And any sort of game plan at the oval is to bat first, get lots of runs, and then it's over to the spinner. When you've got a spinner like Anil Cumbly, 550 odd wickets, this pitch will go drier and drier. There's going to be some sunshine on it. I think that Anil Cumbly will have plenty to work with later in the game. That's four. And it's Monty again. A long chase for Monty. Now this is going to be a tease. The ball's just going to stop. You could run four here. And that's exactly what happens. Poor old Monty has to run about a hundred yards. Still can't prevent the boundary. His face tells the story. It's a long trek for Monty. And he's going to stay at mid-on. I don't see that he can have a vacant area at mid-on to Latchman. Last ball of the day. And that's safely negotiated. So India, end day one, 316 for four. And a good performance after winning the toss, deciding to bat first. Tendulkar still there on 48. 
Lakshman giving him company on 20. And this partnership already worth 40. And hard work, David, for the England bowlers. Oh, it's been hard work for the bowlers in good conditions for batting. India winning the toss and batting first. I think they've had a really good day. 316 for four. There's still lots of runs in this pitch. The weather is set fair. I'm sure that uh, India will be saying tonight, well done today, more of the same tomorrow. In a commanding position. There's the two players just uh, leaving the field. And the team there knows four more days of good cricket and uh, they could well have won the series. It's just day one, but a good effort. It's a pretty satisfying day for India in the end. 3-1-6 for 4. England would have liked another wicket, I suspect. 30 extras that contributed, but every batsman got in. Kartik missed 100, he got to 91, so no Indians got 100 so far on this tour. Wasim Jafar 35, Rahul Dravid 55 is batting beautifully and a great ball got rid of him and Tenduka is uh, still in on 48. Ganguly's hard-fought uh, effort producing 37. Vivius Lakshman's got a start as well, 20 not out. I thought Tremblay just faded away. He looked like he was going to be the bowler to watch out for. One of the shoulders hurting him, none for 60. So a couple of wickets to Anderson, two for 83, a wicket to side bottom. And uh, Collingwood does it so often, doesn't he? Just comes in, bowls a little bit here and there and picks up a wicket. Well, you'd say honours going to India after winning the toss on day one. 3 one, six for four. But uh, as we know at the Oval, you can score a lot of runs in the first innings and still be in trouble if the other side bats even better batting second. We'll find out if that happens.